high. As in the previous video, we have already covered a basic implementation of a program. In this video, we will cover the syntax in a great detail. So let's get started with the same program which we have seen in the previous video also. Here you can observe few things like most of the statements are getting terminated by a semicolon. When we start writing a variable, how can we give a name to a variable and such things will be covered in this video. So let's get started with the semicolon thing first as the semicolon is used to terminate a set of statement. Means here as you can see after printf I have terminated that with a semicolon that means this is the end of this command and after that whatever you will write whether in the same line or in the next line that will be treated as the different command for the compiler. But generally after semicolon we will come to the next line in order to make it more readable for the humans. After that if I want to define some constant or variable in order to store some values in my program we should name one identifier. Identifier is something a name which will be used for identifying a specific variable or a constant. So that name must begin with the special character underscore or with any normal character like ABCD. So as here you can see uh, some names are available right if I'm talking about any special character I will not use anything apart from the underscore whether you want to use this underscore in the mid or in the beginning after that if you want to use any number also you can use it after some characters like here bond 7 car underscore 2 but you cannot start a name with the number like here 1 2 3 5.8 height that should not be there apart from that there should be no space in the name there should not be any special character like dollar or decimal so if i talk about the special character as i said only underscore will be accepted so these are the basic things which you should keep in your mind while giving the name to any identifier now Let's talk about some keywords. So in C language, we have 32 keywords which would be having some specific task. Some of them are for the data types, some of them for returning, some of them for the control statements like that. For example, here you can see for is, is a loop, right? If a statement do, while, these are the basic uh, control statements. Similarly, you can also find the data type like double, integer, long, float. So these are few things. So overall we have 32 keywords in C language. As we'll keep on proceeding, we will see the different usage of the different keywords. As so far in the code you can observe, like here we have used int, right? So int is a keyword, return is a keyword. So we will use such keywords for the different purposes. Now. Let's talk about white spaces. White spaces is basically used in order to uh, make your code readable. For example, when you are done with one line after the semicolon, you press an enter for a new line so that when you will read, when any developer or any human will read the code, it will be easier for him to understand. Similarly, you can also use the tab indentation in order to make your code more readable and more clear. As here you can see fruit is equal to apples plus oranges. Here in between you can find some white spaces again, some spaces are there. So it is all for the readability purpose, it is not essential. White space is not essential anywhere but wherever we will use it will be for the readability purpose only. So this is about the basic syntax of C languages.